How much was the balance of the loan? $3,012. That you forgave the balance of these two loans, which were $3,012. And she did that because you allowed her son to live on a trailer, her son who was your ex-husband, to live on a trailer on a property that you owned. And she said to you that if you let him live on that trailer, then she would forgive the balance of the loans she made to you. That's your answer. Can I explain? Yes, I'm going okay. to let you explain. Now, when were you divorced from her son? Um, we're still going through the divorce, but... So you're still married? <clears throat> yes. And this property that you own? No. We rent. Mm -hmm. You both rent? Yes. Um, he left us. Um, we have three kids together. We were he together left for... when? In uh, June 2016. We were together for 17 years. Um, but okay. he left us. Okay, he left. And when did he want to come back and live in the trailer? Two weeks later. He asked me to forgive him for his second affair. Just so two weeks later, he asked to come back. No, he didn't, he, didn't, he did not ask uh, to live in the trailer. He came back wanting me to forgive him again. Okay. And you and said, no, back in. whatever, yeah. whatever. But I told uh, he wasn't allowed to step foot back in my house ever again. Well, it's not your house. If you live together f and you're still married, the house, even if you rent it, is both of yours. He was not coming back in the house. Well, I understand that you say that. I understand that you say that, Miss Scott. What I'm telling you is, unless a court excludes him from the house, he has the right to be there. I understand that. Okay. Yeah. Now, but what you say is interesting. You are still married to her son. Yes. And you have been married for 17 years. We were together for 17 years, married for 11. Now, I'm going to come back to Ms. Draper at this point. When did you make this loan? March 2nd of 2016. For what? Nicole ran a daycare business, and she was being sued by the county of Orange and needed to buy to get an attorney, and I lent her $5,000 for attorney fees. Just a second. She was running a daycare out of her house that she rents with your son. Yes. And she needed an attorney for that business. She was being sued. Just a second. She needed an attorney for that business. At the time she was running the daycare out of the house, just my own curiosity, who was your son working for? He was working for a uh, company called Response One. What is that? It's mold and water and fire damage. How long did he work for them? About 12, 13 years. Still works there? Yes. So this debt was a debt that was incurred during the course of the marriage? Yes, for her business. I don't care whose business it's for. It was a debt that was incurred during the course of the marriage? Yes. And what was the second loan for? She called me in September and said her electricity had been turned off and if I would loan her the money to turn her electricity back on. And so I did. Just a second. They're still married in September. Is that right? Yes. What marital debts do you have, Miss Scott? And do you have an attorney in the divorce proceeding? I don't have one, but my, my husband does. He has one. He has. I can't afford one. He, he doesn't pay me child support every month. Just a second. And I he lost his job, actually. May I... Yeah, finish sorry. my questions. What debt did you have up until the time he left? It was just our car loans. Car loan? Yeah, so he and took the truck and I took the Tahoe. So we just split that because I took on my own car and he took on his own truck. We basically didn't have any other debt. I mean, credit cards, but they were just in either in my name or just in his name. And so we just said, okay, we're gonna take both of our you know, own credit cards. You have three children together. Yeah. How much money were you making from the daycare business? The last time I filed was 114, but all of that stuff was, I have so many deductions, like rent and food, so I don't know how, what, what I, you, I, I'm basically like negative, like I have carryovers. You took off part of the house as a deduction? Yeah, because I, I run the daycare 11 hours of the day. I suggest that you count this $3,000 as a marital debt and when your son and his wife go through the divorce process, he should list your money as a marital debt. Do you understand? She was sued as under parents' view child care. Just listen to me very carefully. She supported the household based upon this business that was run out of the household where your son lived. I suggest that you list this money as a marital debt. Tell your son, who has a lawyer, that I said that he should list it as a marital debt. He should pay half. Do you understand? Yes, We're done. Your case is dismissed without prejudice to refiling it with the domestic relations courts that's handling your son's divorce. Got it? Yes. Perfect. 